You can't just pull anything. Exactly. Uh. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Spy Family episode 14, Disarm the Time Bomb. And the uh, last episode, the dog came back. Um, they were trying to find a dog, you know, for Anya. And then they wound up at this adoption thing that was going on. And then Anya looked at the dog and the, there's some kind of assassination attempt going on with a, like, a minister from West Dallas coming to East Ostania. And these dolls were, there were bombs in them and trying to, and just a, a whole bunch of stuff. And Anya was, followed the dog. She basically got, got, got captured. The dog helps, rescued her. They were running away and then they came, um, basically right where they left. And the bad guy was trying to reach for her and stuff. And then mama came in and just like, Kick this dude. <laughs> he was bouncing. <laughs> he was bouncing all over the world. Whatever, it was so funny. But yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting on Patreon. I appreciate the slash feel mini. And now let's start this episode. And here we go. I was looking at the title of the next episode and it says a new family member. So I'm guessing the dog is going to officially join the, t the family. I wonder how they're going to call him. Maybe Borf? <laughs> Since that's all he says. Uh, yeah. This episode. Okay. Yo saves Anya. She calls the police, tells them what happened and, you know, about the terrorists and everything. And while she's on the call, Anya intercepts a vision from the dog showing Lloyd dying in an explosion someplace. And because she doesn't want to tell, she can reveal to your, um, her psychic powers and everything so she makes up this excuse oh my god so they, these people are gonna tell me that they believe that lloyd is still on the toilet after all this time all the time she has been looking for like your has been looking for anya and while she's going on all these adventures and you're gonna still gonna believe that lloyd isn't like on the toilet like that just seems so unrealistic to me but okay Anya makes this um comment about <laughs> Lloyd not having toilet paper and then she runs away with the dog because she's trying to keep Lloyd from dying so they run around the city and then they find where it's supposed to happen it's supposed to be happening like a five o'clock. She's seen the club, but she doesn't really read. You know, you know, she doesn't really know time. So she goes and asks this old man, and the man tells him that it's gonna happen in like thirty minutes. And he's like, "What the heck is thirty minutes?" <laughs> that was so funny. So, meanwhile, Keith, knowing that the secret police and um, Wise was after him and everything, so he's like, "With my." cohorts being captured they're probably gonna their original plan is gonna be not gonna work out so he's trying to come up with another plan but then he's like okay i need to like there was one other spot where they keep their bombs and everything so he's like okay excuse me they are sure gonna go to that location as well so let me just place a bomb over there and then when they open it you know, they're gonna spoil and die so while um, and yeah, and the dog were there. Keith also also comes, and um, the dog that was with Keith, he noticed both. 
I'm gonna keep calling him both until they tells they tell me what his name is actually gonna be. So he finds both, and I thought for a second that because basically both and this dog were in a similar situation that there might be some kind of kinship between them, and that the dog was not gonna, you know, let Keith know, you know, wow, well, that both and the girl, and yeah, was there. He was gonna go after them, but then Keith yanked him back. He's like, We don't have time for this, we have to go. And that's when Anya read his mind and figured that the bomb is spreading and everything was Keith's idea and knew where the bomb was, how everything was gonna happen. So they went up to the tower, to the room, and she was like, We need to disarm the bomb. And I'm like, Girl, how are you gonna do this? She was gonna open the door first, but then Borf stopped her. And then she sees this opening. She goes into the room. <sighs> Convenient. <laughs> she goes into the room. And then she's like, okay, in TVs, usually when they're trying to disarm a bomb, there's like a blue and a red cord. And then they, you know, cut this particular one. And she was looking inside. Like, there's no blue or red. It's all black. So she's like, how are you going to do this? And then she finds some ketchup. She goes back out. And then you know, draws on the door, telling them that there is a bomb over there. But then when he, um, Lloyd and his, um, the old, the dude, when they got there and the guy's like, okay, we don't have time for this. He was looking at the drawing and he thought it was a, some kind of vegetable. I forgot what it, what exactly what he called it. And... He was going to open the door and then Lloyd stopped him and he's like, we need to be careful. And then he saw the opening, used some, some kind of mirror, saw the bomb. And then at the same time, the, the secret police was also, was, was also there. So they're like, okay, let's just leave the warning and just leave it to the secret police to handle. And they left. Um, Anya and Borf were there just looking and waiting, you know, to see if the bomb was going to explode or not. And then when it didn't explode, she basically saw the future being, you know, okay and everything. She was like, yay. Now, the thing is, okay, Dave basically took care of all the hideout that the, I love that scene when they captured the students. And they were like, we, we want it, we want a war to happen, we, we, you know, Austenia and West Island to, to, to destroy these two supremacy, whatever. And the handler was just like, have you ever been, have you ever been, have you ever been, she was just telling them all these horrible things that happen when war happens. And you can tell they have, they do nothing about war. You know, I love that scene. The way it played out, the way she was telling them these specific things that were happening, that you know it happened to her, like or to her or to somebody that she knows. There was one particular one, like because as she was speaking and everything, they were showing this flashback. Yeah. Um, she said that, have you ever had someone that was close to you that denied the enemy's humani humanity so that they can continue killing them, but then wound up feeling with so much shame and regret that they want to kill them themselves? And it's like, that's <sighs> freaking frack. Like, when war happens, it's like, the other the enemy is also human you are also human and you are killing human beings you're trying to stamp down your own morals or something so that you can continue killing for the sake of this war and then after it's done you feel the weight of all the people that you've killed on you that you just you are so messed up and this particular because the person killed themselves so it's like war is not good man <laughs> War. <laughs> yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. What is good for nothing, man? It is good for nothing. So I love that scene. So, okay. Now with all the hideouts being taken care of, the guy is like, he only has the one dog. Strapped the dog with a bomb. 
and then was like okay just once you get this minister sent just follow him until you know he can blow him up now they showed the minister in his hotel room and then um lloyd came in and then after lloyd came in you see the minister come out and you know seeing the secret police and oh yuri was there so you see him come out and I'm, i knew i knew it was lloyd and then um yuri was like okay we're gonna be in front of you so you just follow us but then once yuri leaves <laughs> Lloyd is like, okay, I need to drive this myself. You guys go away. And then he drives the um the car basically in a different direction. And then he was trying to um he was running in circles, having um Keith follow him around in circles so that basically I guess he's the people that he's working with could locate his car, know exactly how many of them there are. You know how many dogs there are so he didn't realize like, it was just keith and just the one dog so they're like okay we're gonna lead him to this particular place but then once keith figured out that wise was after him he took out he last launched this bomb at them basically stopped them in the trash so it was just um lloyd against keith and the dog so lloyd comes out of the car starts jumping around and parkouring and whatnot and then the go the dog went after him when he went after him and then he pulled the gun to the dog and i'm like okay he's gonna shoot in my mind i'm thinking he's he has some kind of tranquilizer gun that he's trying to pull the dog down you know and then when he pointed the gun at the dog then he didn't shoot i'm like okay why why aren't you shooting but then it was to lure the dog into this um narrow hallway of some kind so that he has a better I guess um, he can target the dog better. And then he shot. And that's when the um, the episode ended. <sighs> Hopefully, like, I, 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 I hope that it is actually a tranquilizer gun. You know, like a real gun that's going to kill the dog. I, I don't see Lloyd killing the dog. I mean, he's so kind. So I feel like he's going to be a tranquilizer gun. Like some kind of sedative that he's going to give the dog. You know? So, yeah. Um, was there anything else? You know, this running after. <laughs> was looking for Anya because she, she left. So I don't think she found him. She clearly didn't find her yet. Uh-huh. There was the one scene where... Okay, Yuri noticed that the minister was not behind them. And I'm like, okay, when I'm thinking, okay, he probably doubled back to try to find the, the minister, right? So when Lloyd got into this, um, it's not uh, narrow, a hallway is like indoor, right? But what's out, an outdoor hallway? whatever when he got there and then the dog was there and then he took off his disguise and i'm like what if yuri just showed up there and then you taking off your mask you reveal yourself as you know um twilight and everything you know twilight is his like enemy number one so it's like i'm like eh, eh, is that safe but I, I feel like he he didn't sit down gonna find him like yuri's not gonna be there you know because I really don't think Lloyd would be so stupid as to take off his mask if there was anyone there that could, you know, recognize him and anything. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to episode 5, you can just watch it. 5, 15. You can just watch it on my Patreon at patreon.com slash family. And you can also see the full half of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.